In this video, I'm going to go over the way that I recommend that you install my plugin. And honestly, this is how I really recommend you install any of your plugins as it just, well, it's for reasons I'll explain here at the end. But anyways, to begin, here I just have a the default third-person project. It's just a blueprint project, nothing fancy. And let's go ahead and bring the plugin into it so we can access it and use it however we need. So I'm going to go ahead and close down the editor first. And here's my project directory. Now what we're going to be doing is creating a plugins folder directly inside of here and copy and pasting the actual plugin itself into that folder. So here in our project directory, we're just going to right click, create a new folder, and we're going to call it plugins. Now it's going to go directly inside of here. So all you have to do is go to your engine install. So in my case, I'm using 4.27, so this will work for 4.26 and beyond, so that goes for 5.0 as well. So let's open up our engine version, go to engine, plugins, and if we find marketplace, we can see all of our marketplace assets that we have. Well, all the marketplace plugins that we have installed. So we're just going to grab the ultimate FPS template, go right on back to our plugins folder, so project, plugins, and then just paste it right on in. Okay, now once that's done, let's reopen our project. And once in here, you may have an option that'll say like update project or manage plugins or something like that. You don't really have to worry about that. But if you don't see anything else down here, what you can do to show everything is go down here to view options and enable show plugin content. And here you can see we now have the content and the C++ classes folders that you can interact with. So just to confirm and make sure everything's working, I'm going to load up just the provided example map. And it's probably going to have the compile shaders and all that. I stand corrected, and just hit play. Everything seems like it is good to go. Alright, so we now have the plugin installed, and the reason why I recommend that you do it this way is, well, mostly for two reasons. The first one being updates. So let's say, for example, I update the plugin that may require something that, or let's say it may break some references. Well, if it's you have it plugged in, or sorry, you have it enabled directly through the engine and not in its own little plugins folder. What's going to happen is if you update the plugin, it's going to update all the content inside of there and it may break your project without you realizing it, without you really having any sort of fallback. Now, if it's in your, your plugins folder here and you have some sort of repository, like let's say you're using GitHub, for example, well, then that's going to be up on the repository. So, worst comes to worst, if you need to, you can do a you can just go ahead and revert any of those changes that you made because anytime you update a plugin in here, you have to manually do it. So if I made an update and pushed it and you wanted to update the plugin inside of your project, you would have to do this exact same thing. You would just delete this folder, come right back to your engine, plugins, marketplace, copy the ultimate FPS template folder and bring it back in here again. So basically you're just bringing in the whole new plugin. And that's... That would really be the main reason. The other one is ease of project cleanness. So again, if you're working in a repository, you have all the plugins you're actually using that don't come default with the engine right here. And on top of that, other people that are gonna be working on your project will have it as well because again, it's in the project. They don't have to go and get it and install it to their engine and all that kind of stuff. And then it comes down to the cleanliness of your actual project here. So for example, let's say I wanted to access this from the engine. I didn't do it the way I just showed you. Well, if I check show engine content, I'll uncheck show plugin content. Go down to engine content. Wait, never mind. Sorry, it is under plugin content still. But you'll see we have all of these. So just a ton of stuff that come to fall with the engine. And I would have to go all the way down to here just to find it. And it just it just clutters up our browser there. So that's the other reason. So anyways, that's really all there is to it. Uh, yeah, that's it.